Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. We're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty. Today we're going to look at another operation in our ongoing war against the aliens. It is the infiltration of the network tower in uh, the southern part of South America. We're in month number seven and the liberation missions for both parts of South America have started full-fledged, which is great. I absolutely love it. I enjoyed many of the missions here and we have um, yeah, rescued uh, several um, uh, scientists as well as uh, engineers and basically resistant staff. But it's now also time to uh, think about liberating this area to further increase our income. With that being said, um, we are today going to be joined by a really good team. We got Renvin. Um, as an assault, we got uh, Divat Iwop as our sharpshooter, we got John Roby as our uh, gunner, we got Rascal as a specialist, and Ragtime as a technician. I would think that there is not going to be anything that can stand in between us and the mission, and this should be a breeze in the park. Let's go, guys. And we have landed as always. We just need to finish the hack. So theoretically, can, we can even sneak this mission. But I like to kill and yeah, get us um, get us some loot plus some experience for the troops that are not maximized. Look at Roby. He has the uh, Gauss uh, rifle. Uh, Renman has a nice little uh, Gauss shotgun. And we got Divot here with a Gauss Sniper. So, damn it, we are ready for this mission. Definitely ready for this mission. Renman begins to start scouting. Hostile targets in sight. Yep, look at that. We got some hostiles. Uh, we got a high ground over here. So I think we're going to play through this side. Moon up with our sniper. Steady the weapon. Yeah, I don't want to rush it. So how about we're just moving there. Obi moves uh, there and Rascal chills a little bit in the back for now. If we play our cards right, we can trigger this pack and deal a lot of damage. Fifteen enemies and oh, it's the range here. So we could go before we do any of that. How about... Nah, that would uh, give our position away. But this here looks like a great idea to me. Alright, now we can start with the shenanigans to move into full cover. Can we somehow hit at least the second one? Apparently the answer is no. Too far away. I'm thinking if we, if we were discovered and we kind of planned an overwatch trip, they still get shots, which I really don't want them to get to begin with. So this might be the right moment. Starting to fortify. 
At least it takes all of their cover away. This was the worst rocket ever. They said two tiles um, away and not five. Oh, 17. Holy shit. Alright, let's go, baby. I think I do have an idea. Might trigger another pack, but so be it. I think we're fine. Alright. <laughs> he just keeps on shooting. Alright, we got untouchable. And that should be fine. Before we do that, though, how about we fortify our position? Let's get the officer. Got him placeable as well, which is perfect. An aid protocol, kind of, as the cherry uh, on top of the icing of the cake. We're moving into another flanking position. Unfortunately, triggered another pack, which I was hoping would not happen. Kill the trooper. Are we going to take damage though? There are a few snakes that could hit us and we're exposed in the open, which I really don't don't want to see. I'm trusting you here. So we're going for full cover. Overwatch and Overwatch. That kill zone is brutal. I think he just ran out of ammunition. That's why he would probably still continue to go on with the kill zone. Untouchable. Shit, I wanted to make sure that we're not getting injured. I clearly failed to do that. Ah, that's going to take some recovery time.
Yeah, we can area suppress uh, them. Let's make sure we're not taking more damage so that or more hit uh, more absolute uh, damage on Roby because that would just prolong the timing even further. I guess that'll be okay. Check it before you get too close. Getting back into full cover. We're area suppressing over here. Next turn we can grapple up. We don't need that yet. Could move to here, but that would leave us open. In a potentially flanking and compromised position. I still think that this is probably one of the best positions that he could be in. Could continue to move to here, which is not optimal, but I think it's a good advancement because we can't just stand still and do nothing. 50-50 is good enough. Pretty solid hit. Yeah, let's hold the target the Heavy Lancer to make sure that the Overwatch shot miss, uh, hits. Because the Lancer will approach us. And there's the second Overwatch. Nice. 17 crit. I think we just killed him. What the actual fuck. Untouchable baby. See, that's what I don't get. Those stun lancers essentially just move in and sacrifice themselves. Why? Is it their programming? Is it, uh, is it what they are being told? Is it the alien strategy? Good, we're getting we're getting the hang of it. I like where the mission so far is going. Still up. They also like the look, the look of the coil weapons. They are just looking badass. Unfortunately, Roby took some damage. So we killed a pack of four, another pack of three, and another pack of three. That is ten. Five more to go. I am missing out on the loot here. And that is tragic. I would have wanted it. Yeah, I, I could imagine getting up there, but not yet. Holy shit. 21. 
See, and that is also why the difficulty spike. Like, if you're not at coil weapons, yeah, compare this fight to the last mission that we had. Just in case you don't remember, it was one with magnetic weapons and also five uh, people. And we had similar packs, a little bit tuned down, not as beefy as uh, those here. But boy, oh boy, it was like punching with your fist against a brick wall and and they wouldn't really take a lot of damage uh, 25 hit points but if you look um, at his kill zone that was just massive he was slaughtering them um, we had like what one two three four five six shots and he was single-handedly killing uh, the mech dealing 15 points of damage to everyone I think at one point even killed the first uh, um, uh, additional enemy from the uh, from the add-on pack. It was huge. I absolutely loved every second of it. I'm on the move. Got it covered. I'm I'm trusting you here. All right, taking some sort of cover for now. Reinforcements are soon going to come. I might as well put our evac zone here, just in case you never know what happens. Boy, oh boy, he has a lot of ammunition. All right, time to slowly but surely advance. I guess that'll be okay. Roby moves up. Renvin moves up. Now, by the way, is the perfect timing for the grappling hook. Yeah, let's stand over here for now. And we're reloading. Because we got another kill zone. Just want to make sure that we have enough ammunition if we pull it off. Alright, reinforcements are coming in. Perfect time for us to overwatch. After the first pack of reinforcements, we should move on. Alright, still a pretty simple pack. <laughs> the sound is awesome. All right, let's make one thing absolutely clear. I got my eye on you. Time for a kill zone.
Renvin. Fortifies himself. And let's move in. What? Good, that's what I thought. That's the last pack. Uh, which is double... Um, double Sectuid Commander plus a Muton. Okay. Always moving up. Let's get rid of the tower. Thank you. Here, putting our fortification on, and let's kill this guy. Think I got a piece. Apparently, that was not good enough. Good, moving over here. That's into full cover. What the heck? That was into full cover. Yep, that's untouchable. I am miffed. Why did he hit into full cover? All right, 70%. Come on. Good job, Divad. Yep, I am pretty happy now. Let's set your weapon. Reskill is healing himself. Not too worried about him in the next uh, for the next mission because Reskill is probably not going to join us in the next mission. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get closer. On now. They just have way too high defensive values. Okay, <laughs> I, got it, right? I wonder what he was saying. Please don't shoot. Yeah, sure. He has high ground uh, bonus, and we should use that. Roby versus the sected commander. Missed. 
Yeah, why not? We can already start hitting him. Roby, let's go, buddy. Get this guy down. Wonderful. We broke the cover. That was important because now we do have a 100% shot. <laughs> the weapons are just... They are just fun. I absolutely love them and how uh, they escalate even harder in the end game. We unfortunately don't have run and gun. Let's just overwatch. Next turn we can deal with the commander. In the meantime, we're ignoring the purifier here. Yeah, let's ignore him. Instead go for the commander. 16 points of damage. That's a good start. Overwatching in case he wants to move. He mind controlled or tried to mind control him through the wall. That is interesting. You know, I think Roby should have the honor himself. Uh, Random should have the honor himself. <laughs> it has to be dead. Beautiful. Out. We're immune to fire. And Roby's trying to finish this guy. Reload. Steady weapon. I think we killed everyone. Unfortunately, we took some damage. Wow, it's just really unfortunate. But we can get some extra intel out of it. Could have gotten an extensive cache of intel, but with 90% chance, I was rather taking the small reward. Status confirmed. We have control of the network tower. The signal is going out. Yeah, fun mission. I liked it. Let's hope that the recovery time is not too long. And there we go. I hope for four to six days and not more than that. Yeah, four days is fine. Ragtime got a promotion. Lovely. I really like it. And we're probably taking Salvo. 
I mean, quick burn was or is great as well, specifically if you have more of the flamer talents, but I think we're going for salvo. To be honest, tactical sense isn't bad either, but action economy is king, so it's not even a question. Ten intel, that's good, and we got a lot of extra intel uh, from the mission itself. So everyone here is ready. Roby in four days. Covert ops is done in five days. That's pretty damn good. I like it. And that is the facility for South America. So, which begs the question, I don't know how many people we will need in order to do Operation Dawn Slap with a Warlock. So I'm going to hold off of the facility for now. We can still infiltrate that. It's fine. Um, but I think overall we're okay. So let's continue getting more intel. And let's double check, have we recruited someone? No, no, no. Good, I just double checked how many um, operatives um, would be the maximum per base and it's 13 instead of 12. So I'll keep recruiting until I hit 13 here, then switch back to supplies and we'll do the exact same with the other locations. In the meantime, he can help recruiting here. I'm wondering if we want to make contact, but it would take a few days. So instead, what we could do is Build a radio relay. Why does it cost 800 now? It was 650 before. What the actual heck? Are you serious? 800 supplies? But we would get resistance network in return, which would save us a lot of time. I think we're passing on that for now. Let's just make contact the old-fashioned way. I want to keep the supplies because we need equipment upgrades. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Got another nice mission here. Rookies, rookies, rookies. And resistance personnel. I mean, it's not the best mission ever. But a few rookies, that's uh, 40 supplies. So, and free experience. So might as well take all right, we got ourselves a team together. One thing that I noticed is uh, most of our specialists are injured um, and we're running out of resistance personnel. So I was forced to take an injured mech uh, with us. Two hit points is not as bad as it looks. It also gets an additional six uh, shield. So we would be at eight hit points, but definitely not a frontline mech at the moment. Uh, we need to make sure that it keeps kind of in, in the back for now. Um, we got an, a well-equipped team elsewise. Uh, got our swordsman, Cunningham, uh, to lead uh, the team. And we got a mixture of rookies on the one hand side and moderately experienced troops, cover removal, enough frontline and enough DPS. So we should be fine. Um, with that, let's start into 
the mission. Here we go. Oh, let's start infiltrating the mission. It's an easy one, and to be honest, if anything goes wrong, we're just going to pull out because there is there isn't much for us to gain in the mission other than experience. Setting course for the Australian sector. And that's great. We are about to hopefully do a bit of a more successful supply run. The last one was a disaster. We almost lost a few of our experienced units. So today, or uh, in the next mission, we're going to look into a 25 to 27 uh, man uh, raid, which is also intercepting reinforcements to this area. So great all along. And we can get a lot of corpses, hopefully a few Archon corpses, because um, they are most needed at the moment. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. We're on the right track to um, battle the difficulty spike, uh, which clearly has happened uh, now in September, October. Um, and it, it feels great to transition more into the mid-game or later mid-game. Uh, so the coil weapons are definitely fun. If you want to see more um, of that, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And we see each other in the next run. Bye-bye.